Okay, dude, you ready? I know words, I have the best words. Plants. Plants can produce a lot of effects when metabolized by the body. One of such plants is a psychoactive hallucinogen known as psilocybin mushrooms. Psilocybin is a psychoactive compound, the mushrooms of which are found in all seven continents with the exception of Antarctica. When this substance is digested by the body, it breaks down psilocybin into digestible components known as psilocin. When psilocin breaks the blood brain barrier, it starts to prevent serotonin reuptake, meaning there's more and more serotonin available for neurotransmitters to absorb because the neurotransmitters stop reabsorbing it. So, and not just that, it starts to bind itself to serotonin receptors and it doesn't really affect any other neurotransmitter systems, but it does start to affect norepinephrine receptors, affecting long-term memory and short-term memory and learning and eating in, in very, very high doses. So when it binds itself to the serotonin receptors, it starts overstimulating these receptors. And because of the overstimulation, it causes it causes stimul it causes perception of reality and uh, s stimulations without any external stimuli also known as hallucinations and these hallucinations can vary from olfactory uh, hallucinations which are hallucinations of the smell internal hallucinations which are hallucinations when you close your eyes external hallucinations meaning color enhancement tracers visual hallucinations and um, the government of Canada has actually documented psilocybin to actually not be addictive and ha it, there's little to no evidence of the compound being addictive. In fact, the John Hopkins School of Medicine actually documented 51-year-old cigarette smokers who have been smoking cigarettes for over 19 years to be taking psilocybin. And six months after, they had 80% abstinence rate, meaning 80% of the time, they wouldn't smoke cigarettes anymore. And a lot of the patients reported it as the single most spiritual experience of their lives. Additionally, they also did research on cancer patients. So there were 51 cancer subjects that were dying and they were having existential anxiety, depression, and uh, little to no satisfaction with life. After they had psilocybin, uh, they reported increased uh, mood stability, increased positive emotions, and 70% of those patients actually um, made it one of the three most spiritual experiences of their lives. 80% had satisfaction with life, while 83% uh, continued to report well-being. So it, it seems like uh, in Canada that it is a Schedule One substance, meaning that there's, uh, meaning that they believe that the substance is addictive and has no therapeutic use. In light of the new information, it really seems like it is a hidden agenda and they do not want us to use that. Well, do I recommend you take psilocybin? I, I think that, sub, the, that perception is subjective and I think that everyone should do their own research and see what is right for them and their brain. Uh, new research has actually shown that it can actually increase brain growth through neurogenesis. The American Health Association has actually claimed in rats observing that um, when, when psilocybin is active in the brain, it in inhibits normal brain connections and starts immediately creating more brain connections. And so I, I definitely think that psilocybin is, is, is a genius plant and it decreases, what it also does is it decreases the fear conditioning. So it decreases the size of the amygdala, which is responsible for the fight or flight response. They're, unlike cocaine and methamphetamine, 
psilocybin actually never uh, or little to note most of the times it does not stimulate the sympathetic nervous system which is associated with stress and increased heartbeat uh, thank you